three, two, one. You ready? Action. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I have drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls. Hey, we have the one, the only whisk queen on my channel. Give a round of applause for me. Just give a round of applause. Guys, honestly, hmm. we made this happen. It's been so long. I was scrolling through our chat. And when we talked about the idea of filming something, it was like earlier in the year. Early I was like, yeah. Yeah. hmm. Finally. We See, made it happen. We took the bull by the horn. I was like, we had to be intentional. Yeah, I feel like that's the whole thing about life, right? You have to be intentional. As adulthood, then you're busy every day, all day, every day. Guys, she's here. Like, Finally. I can't believe she's here. She's on my channel. Like, a. And thank you so much for coming. You made it all the way here. She's such a nice girl. Guys, she... We'll talk, we'll talk later. We'll talk, talk about but... this. She's vlogging, you watch the vlog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let me just jump right into today's video. So today on my channel, I have Whis Queen here. Um, I'm sure she's no stranger to the YouTube space. If you are an OG, you will know this beautiful face right here. So please be sure to check out her channel. She makes amazing, amazing content, guys. She's just the best. So... Anyways, guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about why immigrants go broke in Canada. And I feel like she's the best person to bring in to talk about this topic. Because you know, I like to talk about money. So I have all the insights and all the tips and mm -hmm. I've seen people because people come to me for money matters. Exactly. So exactly. I have all the tips. Please do not forget to subscribe to both of our channels. It's just a subscribe button down there. Make sure you click on it. And when you do subscribe, do not forget to turn on that bell notification button, okay? And we have a video on my channel as well. That video okay. was amazing. You should go check it out. Yeah, exactly. We just finished filming a video on our channel. If it's out by now, check it out. I'll also link it in the description box for you guys to watch, okay? If you're interested in knowing about why immigrants go broke in Canada, keep watching and don't go anywhere. this video should not just even be about canada like it's generally in life exactly in life and whether if you're immigrating to a different country whatever it is um so you'll be able to take something from this video the first reason that we're going to be talking about as to why immigrants go broke in canada would be not having enough financial literacy yep financial mm -hmm. literacy is mm -hmm. the number one reason yeah because you're mm -hmm. moving from wherever it is you're moving from yeah. to canada you have to understand that the financial system here is it's totally different. different it's different you have to be intentional about learning how the system works exactly. how money works in canada or even mostly western countries it's mm -hmm. usually a debt driven economy mm -hmm. and they want you to be in debt so you have to hmm. be careful about making sure that you are making the right decision and not going in debt otherwise you'll be paying money for buy the rest of your life later. Buy... <laughs> you want to buy a cloth that is 50 dollars they are giving you the option to, to buy now and pay, pay later, later. I'm like, like and people will take the option because it's like oh i'm paying in four and it's, it's not, not it doesn't seem me anything extra it's not ten dollars i'll pay ten dollars but those people when they take you to collections you would know and your credit score your credit score because they'll tell you they're not charging you interest it's yeah. free this and that but don't, pay. but don't pay even if you just miss a payment even if you yeah. don't it affects your credit score because yeah. when you are trying to get maybe like a mortgage or, or a car, car or something then they would see in your history that oh this your person is getting thing. loan for a 50 dollar top like yeah. it makes no sense then people also don't know how to use their credit card you come here you get a credit card and you start to max it out the limit for your credit card usage should be 30 percent even if your credit card i'm gonna stop right there do you know i learned that thing from you when you were like oh i think 30 percent should be the max i was like okay this is 30 percent. people don't I didn't know. know i really didn't know i just seemed like i didn't have to spend too much but i didn't know no, it's like the yeah. right point the, the amount yeah. exactly so when i watched your video i was like okay yeah. people don't know all these things then they get a credit card and they max it out you're supposed to stop at 30 percent. so if your credit card limit is one thousand dollars you shouldn't be spending more 300. than 300 yeah. so if there's any reason why you want to go above 300 make sure you put the money, money back, back right away before, before your that statement, statement ended. Dates. otherwise you are going to be seen as though you are seeking more credit and you are overutilizing your card. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know that. And they don't know it because they don't seek financial education. Mm -hmm. So when you move to a new location or a new city or a ask new questions. country, find out, ask questions, read, do all this research that will help mm -hmm. you make right financial decisions. Then sometimes two people go to grocery stores, for example, Walmart. They will offer you 
Oh, Those buy Walmart cards. credit card, you yeah. get 2% cash back free. Without knowing that you're getting way too much credit card, before you know it, PC up, you, team up. you get that one. <laughs> you also get uh, Capital One. All these financial institutions, they are very easy to give you their credit card. Yeah. Before you know, you're down with five credit cards. Yeah, and you're owing in each and every one so, of them. Some of them, you know the funny thing, like for example, mm -hmm. Walmart card now, you only use it when you go to buy at Walmart. Then you forget to pay. It's not really like you don't want to pay $100 or $200. It's like you just forget. It's an oversight, and then. Yeah. It goes to the next period and it goes to the next period and these things are it dragging down your credit score. score and people don't know the importance of having healthy credit score mm -hmm. it impacts when you're getting a mortgage it impacts when you're Again, getting a car. a car it impacts a lot of things like anything that is major financing it impacts yes. it so you want to make sure that your credit score is as healthy as possible mm -hmm. and some very silly mistakes would get you to would bring your credit score down significantly mm -hmm. and it's the problem comes from people not seeking financial education so I also wanted to add that again if you're guilty of some of these things some of these things are not intentional like you mentioned and then if you're guilty i don't think it's too late to fix make, up yeah, exactly to make the right decision start like you know paying off your credit cards you know letting go of some unnecessary credit cards that you do not need and like she said seeking more financial education saving is also very important because this part of the world if you don't have saving emergency funds all those things then you gotta start borrowing money for you know it, you're borrowing money to pay your rent. But the thing is, I, I understand what you're saying, but sometimes some people don't earn so much. One paycheck away from being homeless. Like, if they don't pay them this month, they can't eat. I, I get it. I'm not saying that saving is easy, but sometimes for some, for some people, people, they just have to cultivate that habit. I yeah. think for some people, it's not, as a, it's not a matter of them not earning enough. It's just they haven't okay. developed that habit of saving mm -hmm. and they've not just planned it and it's yeah. because they have not realized the importance sometimes mm -hmm. they just feel like oh i can easily just use my credit card or something but it's very important for you to have savings because yeah. it helps you make some very important life decisions mm -hmm. that would change your life drastically yeah. if you have savings sometimes unexpected things can happen oh yeah and if you don't have savings you then what do you do laid off. You could even be laid off yeah. as well. So what do you do if you don't have savings? Mm -hmm. So you have to develop a saving culture as well. Next one is immigration bandwagon. Hmm. The times we are now is like Jakpa, Jakpa syndrome. Go. Like, and I understand it. I understand. So, but the thing is, at the same time, not everyone is supposed to immigrate. Canada is not for everybody. It, I said it's Canada. Even wherever you're going to, it's not. Sometimes where you are, sh sometimes should be where you are. Like some people still make it wherever. Yeah, they are. yeah. Yeah, wherever they are. Like in Nigeria, for example, some people are still making it big. So for people who have decided to immigrate, um, you, some people you find that they just start borrowing money because the process is expensive. When you now finally make it to Canada, you find that they are spending all of the money they are making trying to pay back that loan that they took in order to immigrate. So again, it still ties back to like not being able to save. Like yes, that's what I was trying yes, to say. So, you still need to know how to save. And you also need to be careful so you don't get scammed, guys. Hmm. Immigration hmm. scam is even the worst because some people they worked hard, they borrowed yeah, money and so everything. Properties. Then you give the money to somebody that will just scam you. Hmm. That one it will change your life forever. Hmm. I feel like the topic of immigration scam can never be overemphasized because a lot of people are getting scammed even after you've watched this video. Somebody you know will still go and get scammed. get scammed. So you find that people have sold properties, done all of these things, only to get scammed by immigration. And eventually, let's say they make it to Canada, they are broke. Like because they've spent all their money. Exactly. So whatever little money they, they have they are supposed to save here, they're gonna use it to pay back the lenders. So so be careful out there, guys. It's a cruel yeah. world. And if at all you have decided that you want to immigrate, make sure that you are giving yourself the knowledge that you need. Research. Research oh is God. very, very important. Google when you move, it's your friend. It's your friend. When you move to Canada, nobody will help you. Yeah. So you have to start doing your research from now. now. Get on mm -hmm. your Zoom. Get on your laptop and start doing your yeah. homework. So that you educate resources. yourself. There are, there are like more than enough resources yeah. online. I feel like it's kind of easy to spot scammers scammers it's yeah easy. and it's come some people don't come from being desperate it's yeah. like i just have to live right yes. now and they just fall victim somebody will or, tell you oh we'll give you visa to canada like they'll think you change it to work permit for you and all this and they'll give you visitors visa without you knowing exactly that. it's not exactly a scam but they are deceiving they are you. deceiving you they'll tell you come as a visitor we'll give you a we'll change permit. it for you eh, you get it's not mm. really low. they just can't mm. so be very careful and that's why you need to educate yourself so next we're going to be talking about not having a clear plan i feel like in life generally if you don't have a plan you're going to miss it exactly if you fail to plan you plan to fail yeah that's the simple long and short of the thing so if you immigrate to canada or if you're planning on coming to canada you need to have a plan you need to know okay 
when I get here, what am I going to do? Am I going to go to school? Am I going to look for a job? All of that. So, for example, you come as a student, you need to focus on your studies. Afterwards, what's the next steps for exactly. you? Exactly. You know, you know like know. your long term mm -hmm. plans and your long term career goals. Work permit? What's what's the process for you? Exactly. Don't just feel like because you want to move to Canada, next thing is they give you visa and you hop on that, the next plane to start coming. It doesn't end there. You know, Life in Canada is just starting. It's just starting exactly. Yeah. There's so much more steps that you need to take, and mm -hmm. you need to try and figure them out as early as possible. Ex Otherwise, you set yourself that in the wrong direction. As early as possible, it is very key. Yeah, because for example. You need to know like your plans, like how many years work permit you're going to get, um, what's the plan for your permanent residency, your citizenship, all of that. You need to have that laid, laid out. And in terms of career, um, let's say you're coming as a student. I feel like you have some sort of time. grace period yeah, with school. But if you're coming as a permanent residency, you, you should have done have that. You're thrown into the job, job market. market. That, that was place. literally me. When uh, I came... I came as a permanent resident mm -hmm. and I wasn't ready to start looking for a job because I had other like I was working I had my business in Nigeria. Yeah. So I was thinking that when I get to Canada I'll start running my business again. Mm -hmm. So I had that face and that moment where mm -hmm. I was just trying out the business and setting things up for like two months I wasn't working. I and then I realized that oh my god, I need to start looking for a job. Yeah. I need to start paying rent because obviously your yes. parents, your things are coming. Mm -hmm. And I was okay because I felt like I saved it enough. I felt like I could wait for a little bit to correct things and get my business mm -hmm. to where it is. But it took me a moment and a while to realize that no you came here as a peer the pressure is there get, for you to quickly get, get a job it's not you you don't have that time that people that yeah. came as students have to see they are yeah. figuring out things mm -hmm. you have to get on your zoom right away so if you are coming as peer you have to also know this part that yeah. when you are getting here you are getting into the workforce straight up and you cannot be wasting time if it's exactly. for you to have started applying for jobs from your home country or Do if it's it. for you to if you are going if you are in a registered profession Try to see how you can get your registration your license. license or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Try to get all those things sorted out as quickly as possible because time is not on your side and money is getting spent here every single day. You don't want to waste your time more. I feel like no truer words have been said. Next one is living beyond your means. Have you seen them? That's wanna be. You want to break their neck. A gun on one. You want to pepper them. <laughs> you want to show them that I've arrived in Canada. Hey, yeah. you people will see, you people will take. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful because this country is very easy for you to enter this. Yeah. When I came here, the next day I got a new phone. <laughs> free of charge. I didn't even pay a dollar. I just wanted to get a new SIM card. Yeah. And they said, oh, you can get a phone. And I'm like, mm, I mean, I, I guess I can take it. Yeah. I can take it. See, those people. That's, and it's very easy for them to hand you what you want. You want to get a new car, mm -hmm. they'll give it to you. That's why, yeah. no problem. No problem. So just pay, uh, you pay, you pay slowly, you yeah. pay slowly every other week. You pay for seven years. When you're here, you're like seven years. That's seven years is not a long that. time for 200 mm -hmm. weekly. That's fine. I can take care of it. That's how it starts. And then you see, you have so many things. So many things. For. So many things. So if you know that you are new in this country, no mm -hmm. rush. You don't feel like you have to impress anybody. Exactly. Take things slowly. You don't have to impress people. You don't have to buy the latest iPhone every the time a new phone clothes, is out. Gucci, buy the, the latest big, buy the latest designer mm -hmm. bag. It's not necessary. No, see, let me tell you the truth. Nobody's looking at you in Canada. The people that are judging you, they are your friends. They are your family members. <laughs> Nobody. See, you are walking on the street. Nobody's looking at you. Do you know? It's even cold <laughs> half of the time. You are wearing hoodie. I'm about to say that. When I came out, I carried clothes. I was like, ah, I'm going to slay when I came. When I came. It was hoodie or sweater. Winter Nobody coat. Nobody's looking that will cover your destiny it was winter cold too so it's different nigeria you know nigeria were very materialistic yes. like we yeah, like yeah. looking at and you must see mm -hmm. you've not seen nigerian wedding the way yeah. people go extraordinary get their makeup mm -hmm. everything off it's, it. it's very different here yeah, like nobody's, they, they nobody's live a very said. humble life like, reserved yeah so like the don't, monks don't get carried away by all of this it's not necessary and don't feel like you need to impress people because exactly. if you get into debt just because you're trying to show off you're the one that will be suffering yeah. in the long run. And it's so unnecessary. What's the point? Mm -hmm. A new iPhone will come out next year. There's always a new September. phone every year. So what's the point of saying that you want to switch your phone? It's not necessary. And if you feel like you don't have the budget for it, you don't have the finance, That's why? Okay. You can always do it later. There will exactly. always be time for you to do all these things. So you don't need to rush and feel like you have to do it right now. If you don't do it now, it's now or never. Like you said, there's time for everything. Why? So next, we're going to be talking about settling for less. I know, like... Sometimes it's unintentional. It's not easy. Most times, for, for example, people that come to Canada, like that belong to a licensed profession, like for example, a lawyer, an accountant, a nurse, whatever, and they're not able to get that particular job that they were working as in their previous country. They just get like a minimum wage job, you know, just settle for something just to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. You find that before you know it, you get sucked in. 
into that cycle that wicked trap. cycle it's, exactly. not, it's not even just a cycle it's a trap yeah you get sucked in just work it month in month out you don't even have time to even take that license to apply for jobs or even apply for jobs yeah. or even do anything it's so you just keep working 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 exactly but you know i was thinking about it one day like Imagine you're working Monday to Friday. When do you have time to apply for that job? How do you go for that interview? Will you call in sick for every interview you're doing? You so, can't. Because even you're not even sure if you get the job. So why exactly. are you going to so call it's in? It's very sick? tricky. It's very tricky, and people need to be very mindful Careful of that, mindful of that yeah. wicked cycle. And yeah. I think for some people as well, even though like I know that yeah, people have to be mindful and everything. Mm -hmm. I think some people know this. They know that's not what they mm -hmm. want, but they just don't know how to start. And what I would just say is that try to not just bury yourself in the midst of people that yeah. are that are not okay that are comf comfortable yeah. with that kind they're of life. For less. they are settling for less exa exactly mm -hmm. look for people that are highly motivated people that are interested in doing better for themselves mm -hmm. associate yourself with people that are doing well try to connect with people yeah. on social media you. on networking platforms linkedin on even whatsapp group mm -hmm. um, telegram and all these communities get inspiration from there i feel like Nigerians, some of us still do well because you see a lot of Nigerians doing business analysis, mm -hmm. project management and all these things and they are all doing it as a result of seeing other fellow Nigerians doing all these things and it inspires them to get the education and knowledge yeah. that they need to do. So f try to connect with those people. Don't keep yourself in the midst of people Don't that are not island, yeah. doing things or don't even try to reach out to people because yeah. it's very easy for you to get lonely and depressed and be all by yourself here so you have to try as much as you can to reach out to people just so that you will not feel like you're alone because obviously this is not our father's land and we we, we need to we need to actively take yeah. that step to get to where we want to be i know that you didn't come to canada to continue to do menial jobs yeah. labor jobs you came, and for, a better you life. came for a better life and you wouldn't it's get a better good. life doing just minimum wage job for the rest of your life you can't do better and i'm not saying you can do better just to sound like a motivational speaker no. i know most nigerians that i've seen we have that tenacity we have that zeal oh, yeah. and you can really do better than the people that are there they are not better than you Except, do you know him the people that they don't have two ends i was really <laughs> thinking about it one day like the immigrants are very resilient because you literally came to this country with two suitcases to start all over, all over again. again. Like some people even easy. came with their family and kids. Yeah, it's not easy, honestly. So if you're feeling downcast, if you're feeling low and depressed, honestly, this video is not to make you feel sad or anything. If for anything, it should motivate you to to do better, to seek more information and all of that stuff. So mm -hmm. that's it. I also forgot to talk about black tax. Ooh, that one, that one did. But yeah. then black tax is normal. I think it's normal. It's not. It's not impossible. You can't yes. write it off. It's there. You just need to know how to control it. Yeah. What do you think? I feel the same way. Yeah. So you wanna talk about it? I mean, so the thing is for when it comes to black tax, right? Just in case people don't know what it means, it just means because your family or your parents or friends, people from back home, they depend on you yeah. so heavily just Financial. because they feel like you are now abroad, you are in a better position, you're you are making more money, you should be able to send money to them, you should be able to support them. And mm -hmm. sometimes I understand how things can be back home and they want that support from you. Mm -hmm. And because you are earning foreign currency now, yeah, whatever you send to them back home would be very, very valuable. But you also have to know that you shouldn't break your neck. You shouldn't have to break the bank or seek loans just because yeah. you want to support people back home. And if they are not really, really your close family members or people them. that mm -hmm. they've done something significant yeah. for you in your life, why, 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 why yeah. do you feel like you have to cut your it neck? It comes back to the people pleasing, but you're not pleasing people here. You're pleasing people back, back home. home. Mm -hmm. And I understand that sometimes parents, relatives, family, whatever, they always ask for money. And if you are not in the position to provide financially, I feel like you should also communicate. You shouldn't just shut them out yeah. or be mean or anything. Just let them know your current financial situations. Those some may not understand, but just do your due diligence and just know how to word it properly. Exactly. I feel like sometimes we just feel like some pressure they are upon us and we have to take it by all means. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to. You can just let them know. Yeah. Um, not right now, not this month. I don't have mm -hmm. the capacity or it's not within my budget. Maybe mm -hmm. next month and try to see if you can establish them actually that's yeah. my own route or my own yeah. approach for the most part i wouldn't say you should always give, give them, them because fish. they will always come back they will always teach come them back how to teach fish. them how to fish exactly yeah. so if it's sort of like okay they want to they have interest in opening a salon starting a business see how you can support them or fund them or maybe even invest in their business and see how mm -hmm. it grows from there if you are borrowing people money you know that you will not get the money back so me i don't always and tell people to keep, borrow money the more you borrow mm -hmm. <laughs> they will keep coming back mm -hmm, so don't exactly. even bother to borrow see if you can set them up 
or invest in their business. That investment itself, to be honest, you might not get any return from it. But in your mind, you just look at it that you, you, you are you're trying to for support posterity for posterity's sake. Exactly. But try as much as you can to only do so within your means. Exactly. Don't feel like you need to borrow money for anybody. Don't mm -hmm. feel pressured to do so. And also, it also goes back to you also not living a kind of lavish lifestyle. Because if you are living a lifestyle that you are doing, ah, me, I'm always the and one, I'm the one money, in Canada. You want you money, me, of course, I'll give it to you. No, no, um, me in Nigeria, I ask you for money. And you tell me you don't have money. When I'm seeing you with the latest designer bag, mm. I'm seeing you with the latest, you are, you are the one traveling here and there. Why, why should I not, why, yeah. how can you say you don't have money? You have money now, you don't want to give it. <laughs> so it also goes back to that, but you, you need to live a conservative life. And I'm not saying that you should not do what you want to do. Obviously, live your life and be happy. But, I think it's more but make sure that life. you are not living a fake life. Make sure yeah. that you are staying true to yourself, yourself. and you are doing whatever you can within the capacity mm -hmm. that you have. So that you will not be giving people the wrong impression. Then mm -hmm. you now have to meet up to the expectation that you have set. Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah, yeah. Well said, well said, Vitola. I know that there are other points to talk about in this topic, but for the sake of time, we're going to end this video here. We don't want to make it too long. And let's have a conversation in the comment section. If there are other reasons you can think about that we didn't talk about here today, leave it in the comment section. I will be there to respond, okay? Right, I guys. actually want to know what you people think. What are those other things that are not mentioned yeah. that is making people broke abroad? Because mm -hmm. there's so many, we just can't think of everything yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking with us this long. It was lovely to have Bisola on my channel. And um, just check out our, our channels because we've done a bit of collaboration now. Yeah. And I feel like you see us together. You see the other videos that we are coming yes. up with. So stay tuned, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to both of our channels. Like this video, share this video, do all of the needs for okay? So thank you and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.